whether you have children or not, you do think about the future, don't you? And really the challenge that we face. Probably our grandparents, you know, were very careful when, and they would save for things and then they would have those things. And perhaps for us it was a bit easier. But now I think people just want things. They see something and they want it now and, they, and, and they'll get it. You know, somehow they'll get it. And I think that's not something I grew up with, that we're just used to throwing things away, moving on to the next thing. It started a long, long time ago when I became involved in different issues. When I was a teenager, I was a member of Friends of the Earth, so it really goes as far back as that. And I think then we were talking about issues like acid rain. Um, and it's just really led on to this very big issue that we're all facing. There we are. We just live in a society that consumes and consumes and consumes, and you know that if you're a parent, however much you try not to, you do. And they see you doing it, so they think, why can't I just go and get this thing and take it off the shelf and buy it? My daughter and my son were in education, and I was seeing what teachers were doing, and I think I felt, well, you know, I could be doing that. Just get some whiteboard. Yeah, so I made this very big decision to give up journalism and to retrain and to go into teaching. Welcome. What we're going to do today is we're going to start our new topic and we're going to be learning about climate change. <laughs> Yeah. How are we getting on over here? Quite good. Yeah. You're in a primary school and you're teaching seven and eight-year-olds, so they are still quite young. Um, despite that, they're aware of what's going on out there and they want to know more about it. Sea levels are rising. Right. Okay, good. We haven't got that there, have we? Fuels. And what was that under? That was under man-made. Okay. In 50 years, the world, the world will flood. A lot of them are very scared about what's going to happen. There was a survey recently which said that they're more scared about climate change than they are about bullying, and it's become really um, a big part of their lives. You know, they really think, this is going to happen while I'm alive, and what can I do? And I think they need to be educated to see what they can do, because you know, it's what we do that matters and it's what they do that matters. And I think they have a lot of influence on their, on their families. They're citizens of the world, they have responsibilities. I think it's important that they know that they're part of the solution and they can be part of the solution. Dear Miss Abbott, are you doing anything to stop climate change? Climate change is very, very bad. We need to switch the lights off. We need to power down. We need to stop using cars and stop burning coal. How about the deforestation and carbon dioxide in the atmosphere? Do you think you could make a plea in front of all the MPs in Parliament? I am very worried about my family because we are going to all die. It sounds very scary. Poor people are e even in more danger. How could we stop climate change? Can the earth survive? Your sincerely, Edward Ahmed. What well, I suppose the biggest fear is, will the planet be here for them? Will it be here? It may be here for them, but will it be here for their children or their grandchildren? <laughs> 